All right, so before I even go and talk about the different ways about doing a 180 uh, with the current blade patch, I just want to say that a lot of people are throwing the word JFlick around uh, incorrectly, and that's not anyone's fault uh, for that matter. Uh, to clarify, a JFlick is a 180 degree flick within one frame. It's a one frame animation. Um, so I'll show a clip right now of what that looks like. And I'll show a clip of what we currently have, which is not a one frame, 180 degree flick. It's like over the course of two plus frames. That being said, the end result's still the same. You're still, you know, doing a 180 at the end. It's just the J flick is a 180 degree turn within one frame. Whereas what we have now is a 180 degree turn over the course of multiple frames. And that's because uh, for the most part, each frame has a max turn cap of about 90 degrees. So you would need at least uh, in theory, at least two frames to perform a 180. Um, there are some exceptions. I, I'm not going to cover them in this video because a lot of it's still under development. Uh, so for the rest of the video, I'm just going to call them either 180s or 180 flicks or the Z flick. That being said, if you want to call them J flicks anyway, I understand, you know, because at the end of the day, it's still a 180 degree lunge or 180 degree hit. Uh, but I just wanted to say the original J flick isn't possible anymore. It's more or less dead. All right. So with the current patch, uh, we have a turn rate cap of about 90 degrees per frame. So essentially what we need to do is a 90 degree turn uh, twice, right? Over the course of two frames to achieve a 180 now. Uh, so shout out to Lil Thoman uh, for coining the term Z flick or zombie flick in this case. Uh, they're a great blade player. Amazing, amazing, amazing blade player. And they also got some really cool pixel art. So you should probably check them out. I'm telling you to do it like right now, right now. All right, cool. All right, let me talk. Let me talk about the Z flick. All right, so for the Z flick or the zombie flick, uh, what we know now with the current blade patch is that because the cap on the turning rate is 90 degrees per frame, we need to essentially flick at least twice um, to achieve a 180 degree turn. And that's it. That's literally the Z flick. It's just flicking your mouse, you know, two or more times to achieve your 180. Uh, something you do to help buffer the turn movement is uh, setting your Q and E keys to uh, left and right. Uh, through the game settings and then uh, while you're flicking with your mouse you know picking it up and then flicking again um, you can hold q or e uh, in the meantime to help buffer that movement so you're still you know kind of turning uh, in between uh, flicks of your mouse so that's something you can do that should probably help and the last option in doing this is just cranking your dpi to something stupidly high like 25k 25.6k and just doing one big long swipe uh, for the 180. Typically, this is mapped to some sort of like sniper button or a DPI switch button on your mouse. Um, and the reason why you would run this is because maybe if you're like a low sense player like I am uh, natively, uh, you're probably tired of smashing your thumb into your keyboard every time you're flicking left uh, or just, you know, having your mouse just fly off the mouse pad when you're swiping right because you're playing on such a low sensitivity. Um, so in that case, this option is, uh, you know, pretty useful. And for controller players, uh, luckily for you guys, you guys got a nice big buff to your turn rate and control uh, for Blight. So for you guys, all you have to do is just turn in whatever direction you want and just swing. And uh, you usually will achieve the 180 that way. Uh, a little bit of pre-turning before you attack uh, would probably help. Um, but I feel like a lot of Blights have already been doing that on controllers. So that's something that you should you know learn to do. A little bit of a pre-turn and then a, a flick and you will achieve the 180. There's another tech that both keyboard and mouse and controller players can do uh, that will allow you to more or less choose when you want to slide off an object or choose when you want to collide with something. Um, but I want to save that for another time. I feel like that warrants another discussion for another video. Um, and on top of that, I just want to make sure that uh, that tech is fully fleshed out and uh, we understand the nuances of it a little bit better. Um, but it is something nice to talk about, something to look forward to maybe in the future, either by me or by uh, someone else. Uh, but we'll see. Another big part of this patch that I consider to be a very big buff to Blight is the fact that we can readjust uh, the view angle or the direction of our lunge uh, at any point of the lunge. So referencing the old J flick, uh, with the old J flick, uh, the counterplay for it was to essentially not cut the corner tight or to jut out from the loop uh, that you're on. Uh, if you know the Blight is going for a J-Flick. 
And that's because the Jade Flick is a what I would consider a committed animation. So what I mean by that is once you flick and do the 180 degree turn uh, within one frame, uh, you are locked at that view angle that you're looking at. Uh, you can't adjust, you can't swing back out, you can't look left or right afterwards. Once you do the 180, you're stuck looking in that direction until the end of the lunge. Uh, that is no longer the case with the current patch. Uh, if I am lunging or going for 180, uh, I can at any point decide to swing back out away from the loop if I wanted to. And that's it for the video. Uh, so for the most part, like I said before, the old original J Flick is dead. You can't do a one frame. Uh, 180 anymore, but what we have now, I would say, is still considered a big buff. Um, being able to correct our 180s, um, you know, during the lunge is still a very huge buff overall. Uh, despite a little bit of clunkiness and the changes to controller are a very, very welcome change. Uh, and that's all I wanted to say. And like I said, old JFlix are dead. They're just not possible anymore. So I'm sorry about that, but you know, we still have 180s at least. <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs>